Hey, what's up guys? Theo here. In this video, we're going to try out a uh, Elm Hello World. So if you're not familiar with Elm, Elm is a up-and-coming language. Um, basically, that it, the way it works is that um, you're going to get all your errors at compile time. So this means that very rarely will you get a runtime error or runtime exception. And the beauty behind Elm is that it's a functional programming language, which means it's declarative. So uh, here's an example, right? So if we go into our console and we go into node, instead of, you know, doing a basic for loop, you know, and iterating over our collection, whatever, uh, where we're telling uh, the JavaScript engine what to do or whatever programming engine, Elm is written more of a functional style where we're going to, you know, declare whether it's map, you know, for each, filter, you know, reduce, whatever it might be. And uh, the third benefit, um, maybe the second, I forget how many I said, um, but, but the final benefit that, you know, I understand from it is that you can compile it to just regular JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. So you can write your Elm code, and then you can use um, the built-in Elm compiler to make um, you know, basic HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So let's just try and build out a very basic Hello Elm. So I'm going to walk you through this. If you don't have Elm, you need to go to uh, the Elm Lang site and download it yourself. Um, so I, that's where I got it from on here, the Hello World. So we're just going to walk through that. Um, but again, you do need to install Elm. And that's on elmlang.org. And um, so I'm doing it on a Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a directory called Hello Elm. I'm going to change directory in, into there. And I'm going to paste in this command, which is elm package install elmlang HTML, which means that this is almost like npm. So I'm going to type this in. And this is going to allow me to use HTML in here. So now it's already prompting me, you know, you also need the core, you need the HTML, and you need the virtual DOM. Do you approve? Sure. So I'm going to download all of these things. Um, and next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to touch a hello.elm. Um, uh, hello.elm. And then I'm going to open up Sublime Text. And we can sort of see what this has given me, this package, Elmlang, the core, um, and everything really, HTML 2.0, uh, so on. There's the source, and you can sort of see it. Cool. Um, so what I want to do now is go into my Hello Elm, and I'm going to say uh, module, and what we're going to call it, and go back to, uh, let me go back to, yeah. So we're going to say, Module, module, hello, and this is going to expose basically just an empty, um, empty type right now, and then we're going to say import. Um, and what is it? Let me go back. And we'll say uh, exposing HTML attribute, and again, you can put text, whatever. So what I can do is I could say. Uh, uh, import HTML from exposing and let me make sure I have the syntax right so let me go back and look at this for you guys and module hello exposing import HTML exposing text yeah exposing so we're importing this HTML module which I showed you in here and all we want to expose is the text but if you look back here you can expose other things right we could expose uh, an h1 so we'll try that out as well h1 and uh, after that line we can start to write some elm code but the way this works is we have to give it a main entry point so here I can say h1 and then I'll say text is equal to um, hello elm and let me make sure that's okay text I would say sorry text is gonna be hello elm h1 text uh, once you have that you sort of have your skeleton correct what I can do now is come in here and I can say um, make sure I have the command it's elm reactor let me go 
Mac Elm Reactor. And this will fire it up on a server, so it's going to compile our code. And now if we go to localhost 8000, we can sort of see this. It's going to load it up if I click Hello Elm. And what does it say? Module, hello, exposing. And I think because I, yeah, it's only two dots, my bad. All right, so let me try this again. I might have to recompile it. There we go, building a project. Hello.elm. And what is it telling me? Second argument to function h1 is causing a mismatch function. It's expecting. Um, oh, okay, it has to be a list. Yes, it looks like function 1 needs h1. Okay, let me see if we can work with this real quick. Let's look. Um, um, let's see. Um, H1. Let's see how to do it. So we're going to go to the package manager. And let's look at how we can do it. So div list attribute. Looks like, yeah, you might need to. Um, so yeah, that's text. Uh, general word to create HTML now. It's list attribute, the attribute to children. H1, list attribute, list attribute. Gen. Let me just see how, how it's using like a span or something. Form, let's look. Um, H1. Let me see. Model view. No, that's not what I want. Let's see. HTML dot H1. Okay, I think that's that's what we could do as well. So let me come back in here and try this out. So I can now say um Say HTML dot H1. I'm gonna say HTML dot text, and then inside of here I can say Hello Elm. That should give me the correct thing. Let me see if this works. Let's run this Hello Elm. So that seems to work. That's definitely an H1, and I could also change this to H6 here. H6 and uh, run this again. Now it's going to be really tiny. And let me just try something. HTML to H6. And let me see if we do need this. Let's try and run that again. So yeah, it wants you to give it an array of arguments. Okay, cool. So that makes sense. You're uh, because likely you're going to pass in multiple things, not just one. Um, let me just try it real quick with with doing this though. I want to see if that works. HTML text. That works as well. I don't think it's a HTML. Yeah, so if we try HTML.h6, let's see if that works. HTML.h6. Yeah, and then you, I guess you got to give it. Yeah, you got to give it uh, HTML h6, HTML text. So that's the sort of declaration for it. So we'll just bring it back to an h3 and we'll import h3 and then we can also import a span and then i'm guessing inside of here i can do another um another uh declaration i could say html.txt i i am a span and uh i think with that html.h3 and i might actually have to html text and now in here i can say html.span and paste that in there. Let's see if this works for me. What does it say? I'm looking for the following things, and I think that's why. Let me try this again. HTML, you forgot some parentheses. What did I forget? Okay, HTML text, HTML H3. And what is it saying? Hmm. No? 
All right, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, So that actually has to be a text. HTML H3, HTML text. Okay. And then if you look at what this is actually compiled to in the browser, we can see this is indeed a H3. And uh, yeah, so let's see if I can find one more example for us. Um, HTML, and let's look at this one more time. Go back to all, and uh, let's see HTML, um, um, HTML, and okay, it seems to work. H1 and then let's see if we can look at this real quick and then I'll just Yeah, so it looks like if you give it a view you could just do that instead. So we could try I'm gonna try this as the last thing. We can create a view. T import view though. Import HTML model. Let's see. HTML start. Import string startup HTML. Okay, so let's try this. This will be our view. And let me look real quick. Attributes, exposing, let's bring that in too. And, and then we'll say for our view, let's just build this out. We'll just say our view is going to be div with a class of container. And um, after that, we also want um, just a span with a class of span or class of inner. So with that, and then if I pass it to main, so main is going to be equal to view. Let's try and run this one more time. It says maybe you want one of the following. Cannot find variable div. Okay, so maybe I have to bring it in here. And what does it tell me now? Run at the view section, div with a classic container. And div, classic container. Okay. Let's see, I think it's because we're trying to actually render it. So I'm not going to go into that in this one, but let me take it back to where we were at real quick. That's sort of how you can define your view. Um, but I really just started reading about it today, so I will do more with it. But I just wanted to sort of show you guys how it works and uh, sort of explore it with you guys, so you can sort of see my learning process and now we'll just take it back to that h3 and again if we wanted that span we could just say html span and change this out and there we go we're getting our span now and you can just see it in action every time here html h3 and uh, there we go it's swapping it out with the h3 so hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.